Hello everyone, welcome to another episode. This one's the Star Wars, it's the Famous Monsters issue number 147, but it's the Star Wars issue, I guess you got it. It says, enter our fabulous Star Wars $1,000 contest. What the? This came out September 1978. So yeah, Star Wars is everywhere, folks. Everywhere. Let's get going, shall we? Oh my gosh. Nostalgia alert. Oh my goodness. Uh, I'm from uh, Columbus, Ohio, and Kenner, who made these, were from Cincinnati, Ohio. I was very proud of that. The best toys ever came from Ohio. I'm an Ohio person. That's where I'm from, anyway. Don't live there anymore. What's your hang-up? You can pause any time, folks. This is fang mail. But any time you want, because I'm going to go through, pause a little bit. Pinnacle of Terror. Oh, I love Hammer Horror. Love it. Oh my goodness. Look at those eyes. Taste the blood of Dracula. Oh my goodness. I saw these very young. See, these came out in the, we'll say the 60s, right? Yeah. I think the first uh, first one was like 58 or something, or 54. I can't remember. In the 50s. So, I was a young fella, and they were still playing, or my dad had them on TV, whatever. And they they scared a young fella like myself. But they were, the hammers were, like, universal monsters. Oh, they were fine. I loved them. I didn't get really scared, you know, too much. But, man, hammer. Wow. It's like an interview with Harrison Ford and stuff. That's pretty cool. I mean, think about it. 1978, man. Star everybody's all right. Got to go back in time. 1977, summer. Everybody loved the movie. Now everybody's scrambling. Like, what can we make? Can we make something similar? That's why Star Trek The Motion Picture came out in 79. Guess what came out in 79? Uh, James Bond went to space and Moonraker. I mean, everybody. All the TV shows. We got Battlestar Galactica, Buck Rogers. It's just everybody was Star Wars sci-fi crazy. I mean, I know it's being made now. People still talk about Star Wars. But it was madness. Star Wars. Everybody was Star Wars crazy. Boris Karloff. How the Grinch Stole Christmas. You can't think of that without hearing his voice, right? In your ears. Again, if I, if I go too fast, go ahead and you can pause anytime. You know, if you want to check it out longer. Close Encounters of the Weird Kind. Jaws 2. That's right, Jaws came out in 75. I think Jaws 2 did come out in 78, 79, right? Yeah, 70, I think so. I don't mind Jaws 2. I think it's okay. Way better than Jaws 3 and 4. How's that? If you're going to compare, then oh my lord, Jaws 2 is an Academy Award winner compared to Jaws 4. Even though, guess what? Michael Caine's in it, and I'm a huge Michael Caine fan. So, he's hilarious in it. The Skull. I remember that. Peter Cushing's in that. I, I'm trying to think. I haven't seen it in so many years. Man. Magazines are so... I'm just a magazine-aholic. I was one of the things... I think I told the story already, but walled books in the mall... Yeah, I just, if I had money, I'd gobble up all the magazines. Ooh, you get yourself a Close Encounters of the Third Kind Sleeping Blanket? Does that mean you're guaranteed to be abducted? 
it's like a burrito for aliens. I don't know. Kong! What a great poster. Wizard of Oz. How to communicate with an alien. Uh, I recommend you don't. The man from Planet X. Oh, the beast with one th one million eyes? Is that it? Yeah. Ah, I looked at. I saw this a couple episodes back. And I couldn't remember yet. It conquered the world. Yeah, I couldn't think what that was from. Awesome. Here's Ray Harryhausen. Earth versus the flying saucers. What's this? The Thief of Baghdad, 1940. I don't know if I've seen that. Wow, pin up posters for sale. I know I had, I know I had this one, Spider Man. I'm almost positive. My dad had this one at one time. He's, I think he's told me that it was six feet tall. I wonder if he still has it. I remember him telling me that. You take the cake. Harpy birthday. What the heck? Got Don Adams, Water Pigeon, Fay Ray. Everybody knows Fay Ray from King Kong. Rare treats. Ooh, them. Bella Lugosi, of course. Back issues of famous monsters. Home movies. What the heck? There's no home movies. Got to be eight millimeter or Super Eight or something. 3D posters of Star Wars, of course, because like I said before, it was, everybody was Star Wars crazy, and everybody was scrambling. Oh my gosh, there was so much bootleg Star Wars. Everybody just, Star Wars, Star Wars, Star Wars, Star Wars, Star Wars blankets. You can see it all. Star Wars toothbrush, Star Wars. It was ridiculous. Nothing wrong with that. I love Star Wars. But it was everywhere. The Blob. Yes, yeah, so I think these are 8mm, I think. It's 1978, so Star Wars Fan Club, of course. Paperback art. Classics. Oh, it's Frazetta again. I was just talking about him in an earlier episode. Frank Frazetta, what a great artist. Oh, exquisite. Yep. Just going through these horror film books. Yep. Gotta have your advertising, folks. That's how magazines survived. You'd sell space in your magazine. Graveyard Examiner. Monsters of the Month. How fun is that? Get your picture in the, pa uh, in the paper, I guess, you're right? Uh, magazine. Kind of cool. Ooh, LP record albums. Fang Mail. What is this? Oh, Rush Your Order. Yep, that's how you had to order things back in the day. Star Wears. Oh my god, that's a hilarious name. Ooh. Some spinoffs of the famous monsters. Yep. Star Wars. I told you, Famous Monsters like, oh, we do monsters, but sci-fi was so huge, they had no choice. They had to do a sci-fi magazine. You know what I mean? I mean, it was just ginormous. Alright, we're done. Close your eyes. Uh, Curt your eyeballs. Going all the way back to the the, the, the issue. This, so, this is jam-packed, this one was. Jammed. Packed. Love it. There it is. Issue number 147, folks. What a fun time. Thank you for hanging out with me. And uh, come back again. I got more uh, magazines, uh, toy reviews. Uh, I don't know. The channel has a bunch of stuff. So just come back and visit. And uh, do me a favor. Have a great day. I'll have a great day as well. See you next time, everybody. Bye-bye.